Welcome to Talk Pro Aviation. This is Captain P. K. Yadav. Hello, guys. Today we will learn about transmitting techniques. Okay. So, what are the transmitting techniques? So, these are the techniques, guys. If we follow them diligently, we can transmit effectively. And uh, where it is written, where we can find all these techniques, guys. According to the Ikao Doc 9432 Manual of Radio Telephony, the following transmitting techniques will assist in ensuring that transmitted speech is clearly and satisfactorily received, guys. So this is the motive and. Uh, it is mentioned in cow doc uh, 9432 and uh, i'll discuss with the uh, almost uh, all the transmitting techniques which will enhance your transmitting skills if you are a learner in rt okay so number one is before transmitting listen out on the frequency to be used to ensure that there will be no interference with the transmission from another station all right guys so always listen out on the frequency to be used to ensure that there will be no interference with the transmission from another station before transmitting so you have to check this guys okay so this is really important like uh, let's say you are transmitting and that transmission goes to different atc there is no use guys so listen out on the frequency first before transmitting okay number two guys whenever atc calls you you should respond within five seconds not more than that that's your responsibility all right next is avoid using two and four just before the numerals example climbing for 60 or 260 so it can confuse guys you are trying to tell 60 but uh, for atc and for other traffic that could be 24260 so just to avoid this kind of confusion how we would be transmitting climbing flight level 60 not 460 or 260 okay so this is uh, how we avoid guys all right we avoid 2 and 4 just before the numerals i hope you understand about it okay number 4 is uh, there should be a slight pause before and after numbers will assist in making them easier to understand how example climbing flight level 60 right so this is how we can uh, like uh, for example if we talk like descending flight level 60 note guys ptt activates only for 33 seconds for longer messages we have to release and push ptt again now what is ptt push to talk all right guys so this is again it could be the question for your part 2 viva they may ask you what is ptt and uh, for how many seconds it uh, works and what would you do in case uh, the message is longer than normal okay so this is how you can uh, respond them at that point of time next is be familiar with good microphone operating techniques it is really important guys why if you do not know like uh, the good microphone operating techniques it can create a problem because if you do not know how to use that properly maybe you can get the good sound from atc but atc would not get that because your microphone is not at the correct place where it should be so do remember guys if you do not know anything you should understand properly you should get uh, you can discuss this is not uh, rocket science you can uh, always discuss with your colleague or with captain or with your friend while uh, it is also important during your exam so they always uh, test mic and they do the mic check to uh, before your part 1 exam 
so similar goes to you know in flying as well so this thing is very important in case you are not getting anything from ATC or ATC is not getting anything same goes to traffic as well it could be a big blunder guys if anybody is not getting correct information that is not good which I can tell you right now that's really not good and it creates confusion more than anything okay so do remember keep it in mind now number six is use a normal conversational tone speak clearly and distinctly use aviation phraseology and phonetics when required so guys this is not something new use a normal conversational tone not no, very much less not very much high neutral all right guys so use a normal conversational tone speak clearly and distinctly use aviation phraseology and phonetics when required guys if you do not know about aviation phraseology and phonetics go back and find out the video on channel and uh, go through both the videos i think i have covered in one so all right i'll give the link of uh, these videos on i button so you can click on i button and uh, you can uh, go through about aviation phraseology and phonetics so that you would come to know okay if you have done already you are a champ man all right so the next is there should be a gap of 10 seconds between two consecutive transmission to same atc so like if there are two clearances or different messages guys so you know it will give you the clearance or clear picture i would say if you give the 10 seconds gap uh, neither you are going to confuse nor the atc so that's why this practice we follow in our aviation life all right guys oh i hope uh, you have understood each and everything in case of anything guys you can uh, come back to me i'm here to help you i hope you enjoyed this lecture guys just to support me more uh, that can be a good motivation for me to keep uh, recording uh, these kind of videos guys keep subscribing share all the lectures so that you know maximum aviation population can be benefited uh, by all these things i'm trying my best in case you have any idea to make this better uh, you guys can suggest me your all the valuable suggestions are most welcome all right guys take care see you soon here you go your checklist like subscribe and share thank you for watching